It's here. Lord of the Rings release is officially upon us. Okay, Lord of the Rings re-release is... Well, okay, it's not a re-release. Lord of the Rings special holiday ultra premium bundle collector... You get the gist. Well, my point is, we have seen bundles. They're on the secondary market, and it's time to talk about those bundles. What is the best-selling bundle? Where are we spending our hard-earned money? And most importantly, are any of the seen bundles worth it? Well, let's talk about it. Jokes aside about Lord of the Rings Special Edition, the first Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-Earth release was probably one of the most successful Magic releases of all time. We proved as a community we love the idea of playing Magic the Gathering in the Lord of the Rings universe. The Commander product sold insanely well. There was a ton of staples across a bunch of formats, and it's a product that, to this day, if we follow all the sales on TCG Player, we continue to buy. But the holiday special release, whatever edition this is, however you want to refer to it, has got a tall task to live up to. And the big foundation that was being built for this product was the scene bundles. Now, yes, we have a reimagining of the collector box with a bunch of unique and shiny and serialized things that we will be talking about on this channel. But today, I want to focus on the ground level, the most affordable entry point into this release for the Lord of the Rings holiday edition. And I want to talk about those bundles specifically. Let's talk are they selling? If they are, what are we spending our hard-earned money on as a community? And most importantly, are any of those bundles worth it? We've got a ton to talk about, but we can't get into that without saying, if you like stuff like this, again, make sure you click that subscribe button. We are racing to 7K. And without further ado, we have to get into some of this juicy data. You guys know I love the information that comes out of our data vault that we collect here throughout the course of the year. So the bundles are selling well, let's call it poorly. At the top, we have the Aragorn Scene Bundle, which has on TCG Player sold a whopping 30 copies. The Gladriel Bundle has sold 35 copies, the Witch King Bundle 36 copies, and the Gandalf Bundle womp, 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 eight freaking copies. These numbers are astonishing. This is mirroring something that we have seen in the past with March of the Machine. And it makes sense as these products do seem to be a bit similar. Now follow me on this quick, you know, 30 to 60 second tangent. We've seen Wizards of the Coast try to do things like they have with Lord of the Rings Special Holiday Edition before. The idea that a magic set releases and then we buy it and completely stop and never go back is how we interact with products in today's day and age according to the sales data. Listen, we buy a bunch leading up to release and then after that release, the magic cycle is so fast. We got the next product coming and coming and coming that we often just kind of forget about the last thing. Now, they've been trying to resolve this problem for about a year now. Phyrexia all be one came out, and they delayed the release of the complete bundle to give us something collectible. And while I think this was a great product, it did what it was supposed to do. It kept our mind on Phyrexia. It kept our mind on that magic set. But we've also seen them kind of muck this up before. With March of the Machine coming out, we saw Aftermath coming out. We knew we had Aftermath in the future, and when Aftermath came out, it was a bad product. And frankly, it didn't get us to re-fall in love with March of the Machine or want to revisit that set at all. In fact, most of the people that got the product just made them feel bad that they got it. And heck, some of us felt good. Let me know what you think about Aftermath in the comment section below. I know that one could be a pretty pivotal product, but frankly, it didn't sell. Well, the same goes here for Lord of the Rings Special Holiday Release, especially the scene bundles. Now, remember, we will talk about the collector box on this channel, and that's going to be a cool video, so make sure you stick around for that one. But when it comes to the scene bundle, it seems like as, at the individual level, it's not something we're taking to. But as a collection of all four scenes, the scene bundle selling as a set, we do see a bit of a light at the end of, a at the, end of the tunnel. We have sold 1,336 copies of scene bundles as a set, meaning that 334 bundle boxes have been sold. I think that math is correct if I do that in my head. And you can actually get a bit of a discount. While all of the scenes mentioned above go for about $40, making for a $160 purchase before shipping if you were to buy them individually, you can get the scene bundle for around 130 bucks. And it does look like because we are seeing that 100 to $150 price point, that that sweet spot, that window for our Magic the Gathering community, because that scene bundle falls in there, our community does seem more comfortable just saying, hey, I like the scenes, I kind of like what's going on here, I'd rather just get them all, get all of the commander cards. Remember, all of these scene bundles do have unique cards and there's functionally unique cards in the scene bundle. So it does seem that we are more willing to buy the bundle 
than anything else. But I do think that this product is struggling to do what it is supposed to do. It is supposed to bolster the idea that we or bolster our community into being hyped again for Lord of the Rings and maybe revisiting that set. Heck, it's meant to be said, or it's important to say that all of these scene models, everyone that we've talked about, contains three set boosters from the original Lord of the Rings release. Now, that original Lord of the Rings release, like we talked about, massively successful, off the charts, something we absolutely love. The question becomes, will we continue to want to get in on that? Now, a lot of that comes down to, in my opinion, the value of this product. Now, again, we said all of these things individually, if you were to buy them on their own, were about 40 bucks. You can get them for uh, roughly 22.5 if you buy them uh, as a bundle, or sorry, 32.5, sorry. Yeah, $32.50 if you buy them as a bundle. I think that math checks out. Let me know in the comment section below. Wow, that was off the top of my head. I should not have done. Do not do math off the top of your head into a camera for a YouTube video. But you can get a pretty good deal on these. But you do have to remember, like, hey, what are you getting? You are getting the functionally unique cards. You're getting the three set booster packs. And just as an important note, the three set booster packs on TCG Player are like roughly $5.50. So let's just call it $15, $16 bucks of set booster packs. So half the value of the product is the set boosters you're buying. The other half, a big portion of the value or the big portion of the money that you're spending on this product is all about those functionally unique cards and we see that in the discrepancy of the individual scenes being purchased we see three of them selling at what we considered a standard rate because listen they can only be compared to themselves but then we also see the gandalf scene just falling behind and not being purchased it just goes to show hey maybe there's not functionally unique cards in that specific scene that people really want to get their hands on. It's just not worth it to them. And because of this, it's important to say that for me personally, this product just doesn't seem worth it. I'm not making a judgment on you. I'm not telling you whether it's worth it or not for you or how you should spend your money. I am saying that I have spent the better part of a year embracing the idea that not all products are for me. And frankly, I think I've been a happier Magic fan, a Magic consumer and a Magic player, just embracing this the more that I do. Listen, I talk about every product. I probably open every product just to get a feel for it. And I track all of these sold listings on TCG Blair because I love having access to all of that data. And I'm excited to what it's going to do for the next year or two as we follow the trends of these sets but that doesn't mean that i'm excited to play all these cards and this is a set as a person who's not super interested in commander and doesn't necessarily want to pay double the price for lord of the rings set booster packs i just don't feel like it's for me and that's okay i think we're all happier people when we can truly embrace the idea like hey this holiday release is out there and there's not much for me but if you start on this along you get a little spoiler for one of the other videos coming on this channel that just leads me to this thought that for the rest of 2023 well i personally am so hyped for ixalan i think ixalan the lost caverns of ixalan is going to be super sweet i cannot wait I don't think that the rest of the community in mass is going to feel like the same amount of hype for something like Commander Masters or Lord of the Rings or Doctor Who that they will about Ixalan that they do about those other sets. And because of that, like, does Magic the Gathering have kind of a bleh end of 2023 coming up? That's going to be a video on this channel. I'm really excited about that one. Again, if you want to support this channel further, consider joining the channel membership. It's five bucks a month. You get access to all of my data, all of my stuff, and exclusive content. The channel member video this week, as soon as the Cardboard Finance application is done and ready to go into beta, will be all of our sales that we have tracked across Magic the Gathering. We've tracked some Pokemon sets. We're going to be tracking Sorcery. We've tracked Flesh and Blood. All of that data will be gone over in a video that's going to be a massively fun video i cannot wait again if you want to access that five bucks a month if you want to support the channel without spending any money just click that subscribe button and make sure you check out the videos and share this video and any social media platform where you engage with magic the gathering discussion click that share button send the link to somebody it helps me out a ton as we race to 7k i'm gonna keep saying it and be wrong but it's okay 7k by the end of the day thank you so much for hanging out until next time you guys know me my name is josh and well we'll see you around